We've been talking about redemption in today's program, and there really can be no redemption without Jesus Christ. And without Jesus Christ in our lives, there's no hope for a victorious life. And we have an incredible guest today who's going to be talking about the way that he does his part to ensure that young men and young boys in our community have mentors and have spiritual heads of their households so that they can lead victorious lives. And Paul Benjamin, who is the president of Dream Center here in Central Florida, is here with us. And I just want to welcome Welcome you to our program today, Paul. Well, thank you, Barbara. Thank you Appreciate for being, being here. here. Something exciting is getting ready to happen in Central Florida. Can you tell us about the Joe Gibbs event? Yes, uh, we invited Joe to come to Sanford, and uh, it's called the Game Plan for Life event. Mm -hmm. And it's really in encouraging men to get off the sidelines and engage in a game of life. And with the urgent need today for men to stand in the gap and be the godly leaders of their homes and the families in the community. Mm -hmm. But then also our third thing is to get them involved once they've been mentored to get involved in giving back and helping our inner city youth who don't have any dads. Do you think it has a lot to do that our violence in our culture today, addiction to drugs, all of the things, the racial unrest, everything that's happening in our culture today, does it have anything to do with having fatherless kids out there? Oh yeah, when we turn on the news and you, you see these kids being arrested and thrown in jail and all the implosions of our communities we're seeing around the nation, 90% of those kids are coming from fatherless homes. So who, how did this start in you, Paul, to have this passion to make sure that every boy, I mean, your, your vision is to have a mentor for every fa fatherless youth. I mean, that's a big vision. How did that happen to come to you? Well, um, I think back, back 25 plus years ago when uh, one of the fatherless young men in my scouting program um, was given a gun by his uncle mm. to go and hold mm. the gun and end up, long story short, he was upstairs where my son was being watched by one of our church members. Wow. And he um, shot the young lady in her right in her neck, killed her on the spot. Mm. But the one thing that stuck out to me that validated my need to make a difference with fatherless youth is that um, as I'm about to turn him into the law enforcement to the police station, he said, could I have one last request? Mm. What was that, to go and see his dad? Wow. And when I took him to his dad, the last words he heard was, I have no son. Mm. And so that stuck out to me and I realized, wait, nine out of 10 of the kids in my program didn't have a dad. Mm -hmm. So I was that father figure for a lot of them. And then with the issue that happened here in Sanford and yes. that just put a national spotlight on the, the need, a young man here looking for his dad and we know the history of that story. Mm -hmm. But now we're seeing the ripple effect of that one spark event sure. that really just revealed what was going on behind the scenes in the lives of families. So you invited Joe Gibbs to come and to share his story. And then from that event, which by the way is happening on Wednesday, September the 28th in Sanford at the Sanford Civic uh, Center. At the Civic Center, yeah. At the Civic Center and the whole, everybody is invited. The public is invited. Yes, they are invited. We yep. can go to the website that we'll put the website up on, our, on the screen for our viewers to see, but they can buy tickets through that website. And so after the Joe Gibbs event though, a lot of times we go, we hear a great speaker. He's a former, NFL, football, yep. NFL football coach. Redskins, Washington Redskins, okay. NFL coach, and four-time winner with um, NASCAR, Joe Gibbs Racing, and um, quite an awesome man of God yes. that yes. shares his testimony everywhere he goes. So the action steps after the actual event are to do what, Paul? To follow up with uh, a weekly um, Bible study with men, mentoring group, to plug men into weekly mentoring environments within Sanford. Mm -hmm. And we partner with other men's groups throughout the region, like Forge, Man in the Mirror, and different better men to get these guys plugged in. Um, the reason why nine out of 10 men, when we asked them to be mentors, they said, no, we first want to be mentored. Yeah, I was gonna ask you that. How do you know how to be a mentor if you've never been mentored yourself? Right, and uh, Paul the Apostle said, what you've heard and what you've seen me do, that's what you do. Mm -hmm. But a lot of men never had a dad in their lives or they had some bad father images in their lives. Mm -hmm. So they don't feel confident to step out and to engage when they themselves don't know where and who they are. What 
is the problem with a fatherless culture. It is very prevalent in our culture, in society, but even more so in the African-American community, would you say? Yeah, nine out of 10 kids in the inner city, um, the African-American community, nine out of 10 of them have no dads. Wow, what, yeah. what's that about? Well, um, a lot of their dads are in jail. Mm. And um, okay. so that spurs a lot of anger, yeah. resentment. So when a law enforcement who represents a, the authority of a dad, but not the love of a dad, he okay. meets a, um, escalated the hostility. And that's why you see the implosion of what's happening. So you think a, young, a lot of the young African-American youth out there have no understanding, because they have no understanding of what a spiritual head of the household looks like, a father, when they see law enforcement come, which is really the only authority they know that is mm -hmm. normally male dominant uh, kind of a thing, they see that and there's tension and animosity and they they don't like the law enforcement because of that, right? That's correct. And not to mention that was probably the same flashing car that took their dad away. Oh, uh, that person in their wow. life, yeah. Okay. So, Paul, I, I think, like you said, what we can do about it is to train people to be mentors, encourage men to be mentors, or either to at least get mentored. Yeah. And uh, we need to mobilize the church to realize that yes. the, the one mandate that God has called us to is to really mentor the men. Yeah. Because if you take care of the, yes. the men, you take care of domestic violence, you take care of all the ancillary mm -hmm. things we're dealing with, with human trafficking. Mm -hmm. um, the 100% wow. of those are coming yeah. from father wounded environments. Yes. And the perpetrators are men. Yes. And so we, we teach a lot of those principles. The very word family mm -hmm. comes from the word father. Mm -hmm. So if we want to deal with the source, which again, the word father means source, yeah. we will deal with all the problems that we face in our society. So you are a preacher's kid, you were telling me before we went on the air, and so you did have an understanding of what a great father figure looked like in your life. Yeah, so I was raised by a great dad, and matter of fact, he's celebrating his 60th anniversary this year. And Congratulations. So, um, so now I can reproduce in other yes. men what I've seen modeled. And that's what God has called us to do. So, Paul, do you see hope for our culture? I see there's great hope. Good. I love to hear yes, that. Yes. Why do you see hope? I'm so, uh, not fearful, but there, there are days that I'm discouraged. Yeah, well, there, the, the, the beauty is we have a cheating opportunity because we know the end of the book. That's true. And we know how the story ends. <laughs> how that's the right. story ends. Yes. But I'm, I'm encouraged because when men come into a relationship with a loving Heavenly Father, their lives mm. are turned around. Yes. So this is just one of our create events. We have a three prong, create, capture, sustain. We create a catalytic event, capture the hearts of men. Mm -hmm. Then we begin to plug them into a local mentoring environment. Mm -hmm. But then we sustain that by ongoing relationship building with these men and then see them become godly men, yes. godly husbands, fathers, then mentors to the fatherless. And that's the only way we're going to have a society that is going to be honoring to God. Thank that's you right. so mm -hmm. much for that reminder. And thank you so much for what you're doing there in Sanford in Central Florida. It is uh, Paul Benjamin, who is the chief servant, he calls himself, he's the president, but he calls himself the chief servant of, Dream, of the Dream Center in Central Florida. And this event is on September the 28th, which is a Wednesday in Sanford. You can go to that website, get tickets to go to this event so that you can learn how to be uh, a mentor and hear Joe Gibbs story and hear the encouragement that he's going to give you into how to have an impact on others lives. So once again, thank you, Paul Benjamin, for being here with us today. Amen. Thank God you. God bless you. Stay with us, viewers. We've got more coming up.